If you've heard recently about migrants to America kidnapping and eating pets, well, welcome to the wide world, wild world of political misinformation, which is already going crazy as we cruise towards the election. So we're gonna turn now to JD Vance spreading this particular debunked lie. He is not the only high profile person, we'll get to others as well. But here he is saying, months ago, I raised the issue of Haitian illegal immigrants draining social services and generally causing chaos all over Springfield, Ohio. Reports now show that people have had their pets abducted and eaten by people who shouldn't be in this country. Where is our borders are? So you see how they do that? I said that Haitians were terrible people before, and now reports show they're eating pets. Where's Kamala Harris, who had nothing to do with any of this, but where is she? It's about her. A storm is tearing up the digital media industry. Only our audience can save us in these difficult times. Help us reach our goal of 100,000 new members at tyt.com slash team. This is what he's referencing right here, this next graphic. Some Facebook thing, warning to all about our beloved pets and those around us. My neighbors informed me that her daughter's friend had lost her cat, blah, blah, blah. She went outside her car. She looked towards a neighbor's house, who writes like this, where Haitians live and saw her cat hanging from a branch like you do a deer for butchering and they were carving it up to eat. I've been told they are doing this to dogs. They have been doing it to ducks and geese. Please keep a close eye on these animals. So I wanna be very clear. That's the reports, that's the reports show. A random person on Facebook said that they'd been told by an even more random person that scary black migrants are eating all of our animals. And JD Vance, already a senator, perhaps soon to be the vice president thought, well, there's nothing here, but this is some pretty good racism, so I'm just gonna say that it's true. And in fact, I'm gonna say that Kamala Harris is responsible for it. And that's what it is, so it's debunked. Springfield police say that there's rumors, there's no, literally no information to substantiate any of this. And here's my thought, if a right winger who hates migrants stepped outside of their house and they saw cats and dogs strung from trees for butchering, I think they'd take a photo of it. I think there'd be more than prose hearsay of it, but that's all we have. But despite the fact that there's no evidence there, they're not gonna let them stop let that stop them. So Elon Musk, who has literally never checked a claim ever before tweeting about it, says save them of a duck. And I think he's using his AI. House Judiciary GOP has some AI generated images of Trump. In a pond for some reason, I don't think they really thought this through saving animals. Okay, Ted Cruz has please vote for Trump so Haitian immigrants don't eat us. Many people were, were reminded after this that he had abandoned his dog when he fled to Cancun during the snowstorm. Now the dog wasn't totally alone. He made his security guard stay behind during the snowstorm to watch his dog, but his dog was just hanging out there. So maybe Ted Cruz doesn't care as much about animals as he would imply that he does. And I just wanna stop for a second with Ted Cruz. Can we bring that back up? Please vote for Trump so Haitian immigrants don't eat us. Do you see what's happening here? Okay, uh, Ted Cruz, is the, is the child of immigrants. And Ted Cruz in just one generation of being here in the United States has learned, uh, if I wanna be an influential right winger, screw migrants, I'ma do me a racism and I'm gonna bad mouth and demonize my people. We were migrants 15 minutes ago, but now you know those people, they eat animals, they kill your pets, you shouldn't trust them. In fact, they're kidnapping and killing your pets, maybe you should do something about it. That's what Ted Cruz is doing. And how did JD Vance respond to the fact that he was just openly spreading conspiratorial Facebook nonsense? He uh, he put a whole bunch of uh, he put this long post up about nah there's no proof of it but who knows maybe it'll come true and then he said in short don't let the crybabies in the media dissuade you fellow patriots keep the cat memes flowing and there's two things there that are interesting one it's cat ba it's crybabies to point out that you're just lying you're just telling racist lies no it's not no you're you're in a bad position you know that you're the least popular 
uh, VP nominee in living memory. It's been a terrible go for you. You're really sad about that and you just want to go viral by spreading lies. Okay, I get that. There's nothing patriotic about fact free xenophobia, despite the fact that the right has tried to make that a thing and keep the cat memes flowing. Is this really about Haitians? Is this really about cats? Or is this about couches, JD Vance? I think the reason that you want these memes to keep flowing is you think it's unfair that people were spreading the memes of you and the couch. And by the way, there is a difference here. Nobody thought the couch stuff was real when they were spreading it. They just thought it was funny. And I get that that could be annoying to you. The right wingers, look, there's a case to be made, don't truly believe that this is true because they don't truly believe any of the claims that they make. But more importantly, they don't care if it's true or not. They're spreading it because they hate these people and they want them out and they want them to be hated as much as they hate them. That's what it's about. So JD Vance, that is such a weeny little pee in your pants little response. Like I got caught out, I didn't spread it. I don't care if things are true, even though I'm supposed to be like the the, the actual smart one on the right. But um, but let's do it anyway because we got nothing. Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.